Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. A much mercy um, to you, sincere brothers out there at the True House of David. All you brothers that are in the spirit that understand this covenant. Um, basically, I wanted to go over something. Um, I wanted to mention it earlier, but I'll mention it. I'll go through it real quick right now. Um, First Peter's four and seventeen. Real quick, because this is what's happening. Is either it's either you're judging right now at the end of the world because the Lord did say that the works that He did will do greater, and a part of the greater work that that we're going to do in this time, we're going to be able to reach more people in a shorter time span. Meaning that we don't have to travel. The word is traveling and the word is getting out there by word of mouth. You know, the, the best kept secret is is what us few brothers is actually teaching because we're giving you just the understanding of the Bible that nobody has. And um, and to able to understand the Bible and hell and the Gentiles and the new covenant, you have to be spiritual. That's that's it's, it's plain point. That's, that's plain and simple. If you're not really spiritual, you're going to laugh at hell. Um, you're going to laugh at. Um, the new covenant being here, you're going to laugh at the Lord having mercy on Gentiles because you're carnal. Even you guys that can't really let the old covenant go the for the simple fact that all, all our faith is in the new and you guys you're still holding on to the old. You're looking at us uh, different because we don't see it like you guys see it. And it's real easy. All the power is in the new. That's where all the understanding is. So that's that's what's heavy. And, and we didn't do this. The Lord did this. He cut a lot of guys off in the first century where they're really not going to have no understanding. And, and really, we feel sorry for guys because... Guys think that they can manipulate and deceive. That's what they think. They think they can manipulate you into thinking and into believing false doctrine in this time. And it's all over for that. You know, it's been it's 2024. Guys prophesy the end of America in the year 2000. That's far over with now. We're, this is a whole new thing. You're not going to make it out of here being a deceiver. You're not, man. Elders and everything. And, and I was watching one video earlier. And it's really like you have to understand that in this time, if you're not really of the Lord, that all that deceiving and shit and that trying to play semantics and what guys are really doing, they really think that they can manipulate you into believing that camp doctrine that's what they really think when your credibility was fucked up uh years ago all these camps credibility was fucked up over the years over all the things that that's been brought out so when you really understand that how guys be put all the focus on esau that is a strategy that is a strategy because our people are at the time where the judgment is going to start at the the house of our people. This is First Peter four and seventeen. For the time, <clears throat> matter of fact, let's go up a little bit. Yeah, First Peter four and thirteen. Let's read this a little bit. Um, I wanted to bring this out earlier, but I guess the Lord um, figures. The Lord says it when he really, really wants certain things to come out and understood. And, you know, when we teach these videos, we're, we're just, we're, 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 we're touching the surface on this truth. <clears throat> a lot of you don't understand this thing is immense. And a lot of guys that, that are teaching, they, they don't even have an idea of, of the understanding. And then that's just the truth. And, um, it's just foolish. Guys are foolish. Now, so like a lot of guys, they don't really mention us. We're like real hush-hush out there. But everybody fucking know of us. 
But we're like real hush hush is because we're just giving you the truth. We're not teaching this for for nothing. We don't really need anything. But you got these guys teaching this for a quota. You know, teaching is trying to fucking um, stir you the wrong way. Like my man, like my man said in the video earlier, is our people are the at, really they just at the bottom. They're the lowest of everybody right now, morally, spiritually. Spiritually, they don't believe anything. It's everything is a joke to guys, <coughs> and it's heavy because. When you really look at this, you'll come to the to the understanding that there's nobody really believes in shit. Unless you're a true believer, then you really understand this Bible. Other than that, you got a lot of guys teaching the Bible and they're not even true believers, bro. I'm telling you. So so really they don't have no understanding. You got guys that they're just they're using this for monetary gain. And really, they don't have no understanding. That's what it was talking about in the ascension of Isaiah. Men will seek for high seats, but then they won't even have the knowledge. So they'll just be there. And that's what we have now. We got guys that are sitting on high seats and they have the prestige of the world or whatever you may call it. But they're so far away from the spirit, man. It is it is crazy. And so what this new covenant is actually doing, it is shaking things up and bringing things back to reality. Because what guys have done, they've taken this truth and just had this truth. They just they've just lied on the Lord. They mixed everything. They they've did so much in cross and crucifying the real understanding of the Lord is crazy. So. It's heavy because the judgment is going to start at our house, just like it's starting. But a lot of people don't know that the judgment already started. The judgment already started already a long a while back. And so what the Lord is doing, he, the Lord always double downs on things. He triple downs on things because. A lot of people are under the assumption that it's the microchip any day now. It's the microchip any day. Well, the elect has to be sealed. So this is that is the most major thing that that is actually happening. The elect are being sealed and guys are teaching you about microchips. Because one thing about these camps and these groups, the truth about it is you will never be sealed under the old law. The elect will never be sealed under the old law. All right. That will never happen. You have to repent to the new law, but they're holding you to the old. So this is what it means when when they seen the Lord and they the them demons seen the Lord and they they said, "Hey, you come to torment us before our time." So what Satan is, so what's happening? These camps are buying Satan more time. Yeah, the spiritual demon Satan. These guys actually think that Esau, the white man, is the devil, bro. This is this is what their doctrine is. They don't even understand that the devil is spiritual, and the Esau, the devil don't just work through Esau, bro. The devil works through anybody, man. That's the story. The main thing about the story of Jacob and Esau is that Jacob and Esau, just like with Cain and Abel. That's giving you, like the brother was going into it, that's giving you an understanding of the tares and the wheat. So out of the same bloodline, you could you could have a devil or you could have a, a son of God. You could have somebody that's righteous or unrighteous. You could out of the same fucking bloodline. So it's not carnal. But guys don't understand that. A devil can come out of every race and nation. The spirit of the devil can come out of every race. It can come from under the same household. Just like with uh, Isaac and Rebecca. Just like going back in the beginning with, with Adam and Eve, you had Cain, Cain and Abel. So now it ain't about bloodline. It's about if, if you're of Satan or not, basically. <laughs> it's for real. 
And guess what? This world is dominated by the spiritual demon Satan, which that's not the white man. Yeah, he's part of it, just like you guys. You're part of it, too. So, like, this understanding we have, it is far... It is, like, way ahead, to be honest. It, it is way ahead of anything that these guys are teaching. Because the core of uh, salvation, it relies corely on your belief and who you actually are and what you actually believe. You're going to be just off... You're going to be just off of... Like what you really believe. Like if you didn't really believe in the Lord, that's what you're going to be just off of. And especially like if you're teaching men against the Lord. That's another thing that guys don't understand that you're, you're being judged. And the only way to receive mercy, you got to you got to show mercy. You got to give mercy. So let me just say this teaching the bible right and if you're teaching it and you're a false prophet there's no mercy that's going to be shown to you because you were teaching lies you weren't teaching mercy you were teaching a misunderstanding or you was teaching half truths or you're trying to hold man to a law that that's been disannulled so that that you teaching that you're not helping man with mercy because you're not giving them an understanding The, the mercy is coming through the new covenant and the laws of the new covenant doing what the Lord said to do. The Lord told that guy to go sell everything he had. He couldn't do it. Why? Because he had too much shit of the world. He was actually of the world. And a lot of guys are of the fucking world. We're not of the world. We're not doing this for uh, cloud likes and views. We're doing this because certain of the elect need to hear the truth not to hear you got to hold to the old law of moses that's not the truth like i like or like what you got to understand is certain men have the law in them the new law in them and they're over the law that's what the scriptures tell you in uh galatians 5 certain men are over the law so what you got to understand if you're in the spirit, you're over the law. Let me read this scripture. First Peter 4 and 13. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of the anointed suffering of Christ suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. So to suffer, to suffer as what the Lord suffered, that means you got to teach what he was teaching. Point blank, plain and simple. And I'm telling you, the the Lord was not, uh, the microchip was in his main fucking topic in Esau. So by right there, that disqualifies guys teaching that shit. It's about you teaching the Lord, man. And these, these elderly and shit, these guys try to do smear campaigns on guys that uh, left their camp and that really believe. And they're, they're upset about that. Because guys, it's not believing that shit you guys are teaching, that false doctrine shit. And the thing is, because you guys have no understanding, you never thought that certain men and sheep pass your bullshit. Guys, it's telling you that hell is not in the Bible and the Lord spoke of hell. So explain to me what was the Lord talking about? Fear him that is able to kill your body, but not able to kill your body and soul in hell. What was the Lord talking about that then? What was he saying? It's certain things in the scriptures that these elders and shit, they really stay away from and what they can manipulate it. They manipulate it to the best as they can. They don't keep the law to the best of their ability. What they do to the best of their ability, they teach false doctrine to the best of their ability. That's what they do because they ain't keeping no laws. It's crazy, man. That's why this new covenant is exclusive to really just believers, not manipulators. My guys teaching false doctrine. This, this, if you're one of those guys, you have no understanding what this is. That's why you be on a certain guys be on a comic board just, just saying shit all day, leaving like 20, 30 messages to a point to where you get tired of it. It's like, bro, did you just fucking cut, cut guys off? 
Because guys be fucking uh, scoffing. And we know a lot of you guys are set up too just to bring confusion. Certain of these fucking guys, bro, they just be scoffing, man. And really, this is just for those brothers that that are, that are in the spirit. That this all this is for. The rest of you guys that are carnal, holding the Moses, this ain't for you over here. You know, at this point, you can believe what you want to believe. The truth is, if you don't have no faith and you're not, and the Lord is really not in you, then basically you won't have no understanding in this time. You'll have no spiritual understanding. It's heavy, man. First Peter's four and fourteen. But if you be reposed for the name of the anointed, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory of God rests upon you. Upon their part, he is evil spoken of. Whew. But on your part, he is glorified. You see that? Let's read that again. First Peter four and fourteen. But if you be reproached for the name of the, the anointed, and it's not just the name, it's for you being reproach of Of what the Lord was actually teaching, what He stood for. Let's read this real quick. Acts five and forty, and to him they agreed, and when they had agreed, the apostles, and it says, and they had called the apostles and beaten them, and beaten them, and they commanded that they should not speak to the speak in the name of the anointed. And let them go. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of the anointed. So at this point, it's not just saying the name. It was, it was the spirit, basically, that they were coming in. I mean, that they were teaching a different doctrine than what the synagogue was teaching. How do you know that? Let's read this. Acts 6 and 11. Acts 6 and 10, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they suburban men would say, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So what you got to understand is the doctrine that the Lord was speaking and the apostle was speaking, it was not like the doctrine that was that this like just like now. What we're speaking is not like what camps are speaking. So it's blasphemy against the law of Moses. You're teaching men against the law. You see what I'm saying? So that is why they stoned Stephen. And this is why they stoned, they, they beat the apostle because they were teaching in a certain type of name. And it had nothing to do with the physical name. It was this type of spirit that they were in in the doctrine. So when guys talk about the name, they're just only giving you one surface level because they're surface level because they're carnal. They can only give you one D. Man, we're dealing over here with five and four D, man. Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is, it is so heavy that it's like once you understand certain things that, you know, us few brothers, you brothers know what it is, all you brothers, man, all you sincere brothers out there by your your you know like certain things you understand guys have no understanding of how foolish guys actually look in these last days doing what they're doing and not really understanding the heavy consequences that's coming because you have no understanding because you've been taught not to understand certain things guys actually been taught strategically against the things that really matter the most and they got they got certain guys just that just they're they're keeping their um they might bring out they might go into certain things but what these camps will set up for you is to not really believe certain things you need to really understand like the co the new covenant is here you got to believe that if you're of God then you can really understand this and believe it if you're not then you, you know. Like the new covenant is here based off your belief. Um, another thing is men don't really understand the Gentiles. Another thing is guys really don't have no understanding that there is a hell. 
that Enoch talk about Sheol. And a lot of these men that these books were taken out of the Bible, they go into depths. They go into deep depths of this thing. So you have to have some type of mercy on your soul for you to maneuver in this last day. And for real. So this is what guys are not explaining to you that you're going to need mercy more than you need bullets or, or fucking uh, 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 or, or what do they call that shit? A bug out bag or boarding your house up. You're going to need mercy, bro, more than any fucking thing um, when you deal with this truth. You're going to need some some mercy in this last day. And then certain mercies it's the understanding the, the the one of the most highest thing is to really have understanding about what this thing is so if the lord give you mercy to open your eyes because that's what's happening men are being uh men eyes are being open Yeah, man's eyes are being open. And this is what was prophesied to happen. To 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 loose men that are bound, to give men sight. So going back to this, first Peter 4 and 14, if you be reposed for the name of the anointed, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and the anointed rests up upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. You see that? So you only glorify the Lord in the new covenant. If you're not really glorif you're not really glorifying the Lord, not teaching his new covenant. All right. It's just that simple. It says, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer. Or as a busy body, busy body, and other man's business, you see, all in man's personal life, or uh, uh, who who guys is dealing with, what they dealing with, and uh, you know, like what woman he have, or all types of shit that don't have nothing to do with the word, basically. Because at this point, that's all. That's the only guy's defense. It, their defense ain't the scriptures because the scriptures are against them in this last day. Really, it really is. And you got to understand the shit of the world and the prophecies ain't the main thing. The main thing that the prop, the spirit of prophecy was talking about in um, Revelations, it was letting you know that the real spirit of prophecy is teaching the Lord's son. That is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony. Matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. Yeah, and so the electors ain't sealed yet. That was another lie that they did. They told too. They tried to tell you that um, the elect is sealed. The elect is in the process of being sealed. Once the all the elect is sealed in their mind, like the scripture saying Revelation, then the destruction is going to be let loose, but not before then. But not before then. So that's what's the, the you gotta understand the elect cannot never be sealed by you teaching the old law of Moses and fear mongering people all day. The whole thing is to get men to repent to the new covenant and let that old law go. That's not gonna be taught out there like that mainstream because guys are trying to keep you under that law. This is uh, Revelations uh, 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, thou doest not. So he's talking to an angel. And this is way more deeper now. Because the angels understand the ones that's really worshiping the Lord. And this is the only reason why he was with John. Because John was worshiping the Lord through the spirit for real. And the, and the angels are set up to worship the Lord. But if you're not set up to worship the Lord, then these angels and everything in this world is against you. 
what well, was well, with you actually the spirit that say this world is this world is with you but the spirit is actually against you because you have no understanding so let me say it like that so you may be of the world but then your understanding of the spirit is very limited and you really you can't see who who's really in the spirit you're blind it's not about what's happening in the world your whole thing is to glorify Yahweh Shai just like the apostles was in Acts that's how Stephen was your whole thing is to, to your whole thing should be describing the Lord and what the Lord did and, and what the Lord was teaching and what the Lord was doing because this gives men the understanding so they can know what they should do Revelation 19 10 and I'm filling my feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not I am thy fellow surgeon, servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of the anointed of Yahweh Mashiach Jesus Christ it says I have the testimony of Yahweh Shai worship God for the testimony is the spirit of prophecy so the most important thing ain't the shit that's going on in the world is you testifying and speaking on the Lord's behalf in a sense that the Lord did come and um, teach the covenant and started and made a new covenant and he died teaching the new covenant let's go back to 1 Peter's 4 and I'm going to get out of here I just wanted to bring this out because it's real, it's real important that you understand this. So this whole this whole thing is about glorifying your Howard Shai, bro. When you really break down these scriptures and you really get into them, even in the old covenant, this whole word is really about testifying the Lord's Son and, and breaking him down and making men know his covenant and Making certain men understand if you could believe in the Lord, then you're of the spirit. If you're not really of the Lord, then you're not really in his covenant. And guys that are in his covenant, they're leaning to the old because they're really not about the Lord like that. That's that's what this is. Being about the Lord is really believing. Believing when you're down. <laughs> Not when you're highly esteemed. Guys that are highly esteemed, they they don't they're just using the Lord and they're just using the Bible. So it's it's funny when you hear guys be like, you know, where did you get the Hebrew? Where did you get this? We don't owe you guys anything. We already got the, we got the Hebrew from the Lord in the first century. We got the downloads from the Lord in the first century. It's just that in this last generation, we had to deal with you guys one last time. So you actually stole all this and you're using it to hold men under the law. We're using this to free men. It's a difference. You see, we're not getting paid to do this. Guys that don't have the understanding, they're getting paid to teach lies. That's why you that's why you're getting paid, because because you don't really understand what the fuck you're doing. So they will pay you, you know, that make you think you're doing something. But you don't really have the understanding. So it's heavy. And that's what is put out on the forefront. So if you could break past all that false camp doctrine, then you can understand this truth. The understanding spirit, actually, because this he has so much information in history. But the thing is, what we're dealing with is the spirit. And that's recorded. And that power came from a source. What source did that come from? Believing in the Lord's son, not the old law. It's the Lord that redeemed Adam. So if the Lord redeemed Adam, certain of us have been redeemed. How do you know that certain of us have been redeemed? Because we're not nowhere a part of this world and our understanding is so past this world. We have to dumb ourselves down just to fucking be able to interact with people. It's crazy. That's why when we teach this truth, we bring everything out. That's why you're supposed to teach this and keep a low profile. You really do. I mean, it's going to be hard. 
because a lot of guys they can really they can see your light you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you just gotta you gotta keep a low profile like the lord did you know we're gonna be hated more than love but at the same because there's way more reprobates on the planet but like uh Alicia said there's more with us than there's with them so this whole thing is about glorifying the lord and and if you gotta have that testimony that's another thing you you can't just act like you're teaching something you really gotta have a testimony so by what the guys in these camps and these groups is just teaching all this shit of the world and microchips they do not have the testimony of the lord their testimony is the shit of the world. That's their testimony. And Esau, it's not the Lord. So when the Lord is talking about on your part, um, he is glorified. That means he's glorified through your testimony. All of us have our own separate testimony. And that's what this thing is. That's all this thing is. Really, when you really think about it. It's all about uh, teaching the Lord and, and what he did, basically. Therefore, what, by what he did, this is what you're set up to do, to help glorify what he did. And in the process, you were with him doing this whole thing. It's heavy. Um, let's read this, man. I'm going to get out of here. First Peter's uh, 4. And 16, it says, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, the real Christian, the real Christians, man, they just were followers of the Lord. Let him not be ashamed. And the Christians was the Gentiles. Because Paul was starting Gentile churches like the brother liked to go into. It's real simple, man. The certain um, heathens that believe, they clinged onto uh, Paul. That's that's all it is. It's not that hard to really to understand uh, these Gentiles. You see, the mystery of the Gentiles. That's a mystery if you don't have no fucking mercy on certain, you know, because your guys are merciless. So you won't have, you really don't understand the Bible you're teaching because the Bible is based on mercy. The Lord got to have mercy on you to come into his rest. And that's the seventh day, which that's approaching. That's why we try to tell you all that false doctrine shit and all the lies is that shit is coming to a halt and ones the ones that are the spirit them the ones that really matter not not just people of the world but the ones of the spirit that you can't see that really believe that's what matters so if you suffer for a christian that means you're suffering because you you really believe in the lord first peter 4 and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of israel but if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the anointed? For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the anointed, at the, at the house of God. So the, the, who is the house of God? So you're gonna so you gonna tell me now Esau is the house of God too? So why the fuck y'all talk about him so much if judgment ain't gonna start with him? Because they're trying to take the the um the attention off of themselves and put it on Esau instead of me repenting you see so a lot of guys are working for the world your own people trying to hold you back from getting the fuck out of here that's how you hold guys back keep them in the old law you ain't setting men free because these elders and these this world and everything that's set up ain't set up to keep you free Everything wants to hold you. So it's the scripture tell you for the time, first Peter 4 and 17, for the time that judgment must begin upon the house of God, it is first begin at us. What shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, scarcely, I mean, you're going to scarcely make it. 
Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Man, it was a scripture in Proverbs to tell you that hell is always open or some shit. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find out before I get out of here. It's heavy in this last day. It really is. Yeah, let me read this real quick. Proverbs 15 and 11, it says, Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? Woo! So the Lord sees your hearts. And it's heavy. You got to understand Proverbs and certain things that, you know, it's heavier when you really understand the new covenant. And you understand what this Bible is really saying. A lot of you guys are teaching the Bible with maybe 10 percent understanding. A carnal understanding, basically. You, you have a, a low level carnal understanding. But you're forgetting the whole other, the weightier matters of the law. It's heavy, man. Proverbs 15, 24. The way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. I don't even know what the fuck. I don't know what you're going to make out of that. <laughs> beneath. For guys to... Say that there's no hell. Matter of fact, let me grab one more of these. I think the brother sent me this the other day. Yeah, it's heavy, bro. Um, Salakia. I want to grab one more. What was this? Psalm 55. And... Matter of fact, I got this right here. So, yeah, basically... Um, this new covenant is, um, the whole testimony of it is, is about explaining the Lord. And a lot of guys just can't do that. You know, it is, it is heavy. It is heavy really to understand that. Um, Psalms 52 and 5, it says, God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and the root out of the land of the living. Shalah. So if, so if God's root thee out of the land of the living, what does that really mean? Psalms 52 and 5. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. Now, the contest is what? It's going into men that um, are deceitful. And that's the, the devising mischief. So if you're, you're, if you're teaching deceitful things, um, the Lord is telling you that he's going to root thee out of the land of the living. And the scripture, it just tells you, God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and out of the land of the living. Salah. And let me get out of here, man. You know, you could break that down wrong. Once you understand these scriptures for what they really is, they are like a uh, um, pot of gold. But if you're teaching false doctrine, you, you will never understand the full spectrum of these scriptures. But let me get out of here, man. Repent to the new covenant. With that, a shalom.